In other news, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has promised to apply findings, uh, recommendations of uh, stakeholders at its ongoing review of the 2023 general elections. In a reaction to recommendations from journalists and media executives, INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said his recommendations or these recommendations will commence with the preparation for the pending by-elections and off-circle governorship elections in Bayelsa, Imo and Kogi states, scheduled to hold on Saturday 11th of November 2023 while promising that the commission will provide staff and machines for coming elections. He said suggestions will be welcomed on ways to improve the future conduct of elections and the electoral process in Nigeria, stating that there is a long-standing partnership between the commission and the media. We are also convinced that as citizens, you should be part of the discussion for the overall improvement of our electoral process based with media executives to tell us what they observed in the field during the last election. Because before you are media executives, before we are election managers, we are above all citizens of Nigeria. And so there must have been things you saw in the field and you would have asked yourself, how I wish I can meet INEC to tell them. And it is through this kind of interaction and only through this kind of, intera of interaction that will continue to improve on the electoral process in the country. Let us therefore take this opportunity to evaluate the effectiveness of our voter education initiatives and strategize on innovative approaches to reach a broader audience. By empowering citizens with knowledge, we strengthen the foundation of our democracy. Access to media, reportage, head speech, and fake news. While the media plays a crucial role in fostering democracy, we also face challenges that demand our unwavering attention. The rise of head speech and fake news poses a threat to the fabric of our society. As we review the 2023 elections, let us candidly address the issue of fake news, of hate speech, misinformation, seeking ways to combat them without infringing on the principles of free speech. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.